Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Steam Up for scheduling, whether it's for your daily basis or for a reminder of important dates. Before we start, I'm going to show you the features that Team Up offers for you. They have scalable color coded sub calendar folders. They also have 11 calendar views that you can see whether it's for year and also in table views. They have nine level of access permissions, so you don't have to be scared if your schedule will be leaked for other people. And you can also share your schedule for other people, but they're going to have some sort of security over it. So it's not going to be visible just for anyone. They also have integration with other calendar tools, sharing via links without user account, complete and reliable time zone support, and many more. Now, some of the benefit that TeamUp offers can only be used if you subscribe to their plans, but you can also use it for free. If you're going to use the free account here, are the things that you can get. You get eight sub calendar, one custom field, one year of historical data, and eight account based user. Meanwhile, if you're going to use the paid plans, here are the prices. You got the plus plan, pro plan, business plan, and enterprise plan. And you can pause the video if you want to see all of the benefits that you can get if you're subscribing to one of their plans. Or you can also check out their website to see more details. So you can also enjoy a three-day free trial on each plan if you would like to take a look around on what benefits that you can get from each plan, so you can go ahead and try the three-day free trial. Now let's start to create our calendar. The first thing you will want to do is to name your calendar. So you can go ahead and type out your calendar name over here, and then you can go ahead and insert your email. Once you're done, you can continue and settings your language. As you can see, TeamUp has a lot of language that you can choose from. And also you can choose the time zone for your calendar. It's going to automatically adjust it to the location that you are right now. But you can also change the time zone if you'd like. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and stick up to the default. Before you create your calendar, don't forget to choose the subscription plan. If you are, don't want to use the free trial, you can just go ahead and click on the basic or free plan. And then you can choose whether you would want to subscribe for their news and tips on using TeamUp. I'm not going to check that, so I'm just going to go ahead and check the terms and service and privacy policy. After you fill out all of the data, you are going to get a verification or invitation email from TeamUp. So you can go ahead and click on the link that TeamUp have sent for you. Once you click on the link, you are going to fill out some more details like your name, the email that you're going to use for team up, language, and also you're going to have to set for your password. And once you've done with the invitation, now you can start and create your calendar. And here is the team up calendar that you can customize. Now let's take a look around and see what we can do with TeamUp. The first thing I notice is that TeamUp's offer several views that we can enjoy. For example, we can see our calendar in scheduler view or we can see our calendar in day view, in weeks view, month view, year view, and also timeline view and so on. And here I'm just showing you how it looks like if you click on the year view at TeamUp. And also this is how it looks like if you click on the timeline view on TeamUp. Now let's try and create an appointment or a reminder on TeamUp calendar. First, you want to go ahead and click on the date range that you want your appointment to be. For example, now I'm choosing between December 31 to January 6. And then you're going to go ahead and click on anywhere on the calendar and start creating your event. For example, I'm going to create an event that starts on 7 p.m. and it's going to end around 9.30 p.m. 
To change the time, you can either scroll around after you click on the time box, or you can also just type it directly. And here I'm just naming the event that I'm going to need a reminder of, and I'm going to put year and dinner on this text box. You also have the options to setting your reminder. Either you want your reminder to be on all day, or you can also choose to repeat your reminder, whether it's on daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, yearly basis, and so on. And here I'm just showing you the additional settings that you can choose if you click on repeat. You can choose to repeat your reminder, let's say for daily. You can then set when your reminder should start and in which day or year should the reminder stop. And once you've done inputting these time details, you can go ahead and scroll down to fill in the necessary data that you need. And if you want to insert some attachment to help you with your event reminder, you can also click on this choose to upload file and then you can just go ahead and upload the necessary file that you might need on your calendar. After you're done, you can go ahead and click on save. Now I noticed that we already have these pre-made calendar categories and I'm just going to go ahead and click on it to edit each one of them so that when I use it to label my event, it's going to make it easier for me to differentiate each event. For this one, I'm just going to go ahead and type out social event. And then after I name the categories of my reminder, I'm going to go ahead and change the color. I'm going to choose the yellow color for this category and then I'm going to save it and use it on my calendar. Next, I'm going to change the second category. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this pen symbol and then I'm going to rename the categories as birthday. I'm going to change its color from green to the some sort of teal blue color and then I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, my categories is all set now. If you want to add some more categories, you can go ahead and click new and then choose add calendar. And now you can create more calendar categories and then customize it just like you already did before. Once I'm done with the category, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my team up calendar. And as you can see, the purple categories that was here now turns to yellow because I changed that category into social event and I also changed the color of the box. And right now I'm going to try and create another reminder. For this one, I'm going to create a reminder for my cat's birthday and his birthday falls on 7 March 2024. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to that date and then I'm going to click on anywhere on my calendar and then I'm going to customize the detail just like how I showed you before. Once I'm done creating the details of my reminder, I'm going to go ahead and see if this reminder really does going to repeat on the next year's or the year after that. As you can see here, I am clicking on random date and on March 7, every year, Skylar's birthday reminder is available and it's there. Now in Team Up, you can create more than just one calendar. For example, I already have the calendar that are for my daily schedule, but if I would like to create another calendar that has nothing to do with my daily schedule, let's say for example, I would want my work calendar to be separated from my daily one, I can just go ahead and click on create a calendar and Fill in the information that I needed, just like how I did with my previous calendar. You can also print your schedule by clicking on the three lines inside of the blue button on the top right of your screen. And then you can choose the orientation, the format or the color settings for your print. And that is how you can use TeamUp for your daily scheduling 
or for your calendar management. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.